Well, we're still in 2 Peter chapter 1. Good Saturday morning to you. Hope you're getting ready to go to church tomorrow and uh, worship the Lord. Simon Peter says something here that uh, I want to read, and just briefly, he's telling in verse 12 of 2 Peter chapter 1 that uh, he's bringing to mind these things, and he says every right to do so. And in verse 14, he says something that I want to be reminded of and remind us today. He said, knowing that lay, the laying aside of my earthly dwelling is imminent, as also our Lord Jesus Christ has been made clear to me, has made clear to me, and I will also be diligent that at any time after my departure, you may be able to call these things to mind. He's writing his readers and he said, I don't want you to forget that you need to be diligent because I'm being diligent to do that. But then in that verse where he says in verse 14, he said, knowing that the laying aside of my dwelling is imminent, my earthly dwelling is imminent, as also our Lord Jesus Christ has made clear to me. Have you ever said something like this? Life is a journey, not a destination. Or we're on a journey, not a destination. It's not going to be fulfilled. Uh, in terms of life, that's a very silly thing. We are on a journey, but there is a destination. There's an eternal destination. And we need to be mindful of that. First for ourselves, I hope that you know uh, where your eternal destination is. I hope it's heaven. And the only way to be sure of that is to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and live in that relationship uh, on this earth and to be ready to meet him in glory. Uh, everybody's going to live forever. The question is where they're going to live. You're going to live in heaven or you're going to live in hell. But I, I, I want to remind us today, I want to be reminded today that we're, we're on a journey, but we do have a destination. And our destination is uh, conditioned by what we do on this journey. Uh, the Bible says we're going to be rewarded for what we do on this journey. The Bible says that we're going to be rewarded by the Father, to be welcomed by the Father and to his joy, uh, to be welcomed into his presence. We're going to see Jesus. We're going to see uh, our friends and family. We're going to see a lot of people. But we are on a journey that makes a difference in the destination we have. Uh, secondly, we need to look around and realize that everybody's on a journey to eternity. And so it behooves us because this is what God wants for us to take as many people with us as we can to share our faith, to share the truth and the reality of the gospel with as many people as we can to take as many people. God wants people to know him. And this book that we're in, Second Peter, uh, 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 Peter writes, God's not willing that any should perish, but that all might come to repentance. He's not here to send people to hell and to, and to beat them over the head. What he's here to do is to get to be known. But he's known through the witness that we have to other people. So let's be mindful of that. We're on a journey. Uh, our eternity is taken care of and set. But for so many people, their eternities are not set. Pray for them. Ask God to lead people to you and you to people that you can share with them and ask them to trust Jesus Christ and then rejoice with them when they do. Pray, share, rejoice. We're on a journey that leads to heaven. Heavenly Father, we pray today that you will uh, put on our hearts people that we can pray for and share with, even if they're strangers, that they'll come across our path in some way and we'll be able, Father, in this life to lead as many people to Christ as we can before we lay down our earthly uh, body. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.